All right, so this is the start of my ultimate pedal. Um, what have I got? I've got a, a clean boost on it here. Um, then I've got a four transistor fuzz with um, red five mil LED clipping. And then I've got it going into an octave up blend. I've not got the blend pot on it yet. Uh, but the controls are volume for the boost, volume for the fuzz, a tone and a distortion gain control. And we're going to have a blend control. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, um, get a box and put three three pole double throw switches on it. So it's going to have three, so you can have click for the boost, click for the fuzz and then click for the octave. So you've got a, a pedal with three kind of effects on it. Um, I, I built one of these, and this is like a, a four transistor fuzz pedal. Um, this one's got this one's better because it's got uh, the LED clipping in it, and it's got a uh, higher gain transistors in it. Um, this has got a octave up switch, and that's just impossible when you're trying to play and you just want to boost on some uh, octave up on there. Um, you can't really do it with your foot with the with the switch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a three pole double throw on there and then a three pole double throw for the boost. So I'm gonna need a bigger box than this one, obviously. Um, but I've just been trying it out on my pedal board. Obviously, uh, I don't usually have like bare circuits hooked up to my pedal board like this. Um, but this is just purely just to uh, just give this a bit of a whiz, whiz round and um, test it out, make sure I'm happy with the way it's sounding. Um, the only regret is that I wish I'd put, um, I wish I'd designed this so the clean boost would go on the same board. Um, yeah, that's just on, that's just on a separate board. But I was like, oh, it, it just sounds better with a clean boost. It just uh, sounds like you just get more out of it. Um, and then you can use things like the clean boost on its own as well. Anyway, um, but the thing is, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, it doesn't matter if those circuits are together or not. But it's just something design-wise that just kind of gripes me. But this is kind of just a prototype pedal. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna build this one up. Um, I'm gonna give a quick like test of it. Um, and then I'll, um, I'll box it up and I'll show you my box and I'll show you another demonstration when it's all boxed up as well. crunchy sort of distortion and a clean boost as well I've got um, preamp gains on both these amps so they've already got a tiny little bit of, of gain um, just demonstrate <laughs> yeah, they've both got a bit of, of gain on them so just boosting the whole lot um, just makes my day really and that's kind of the sort of um, Sort of distortion I want with with what I want to do. So basically, I want, I was just been fiddling about so much with different distortions in in the rehearsal spaces, going around and around in circles, and finally I've just chosen this one to to kind of go forward with, um, and and just you know have this as my my go to um, distortion pedal. I, I, I just I just couldn't get a sound out of, of of a pedal that I see in it. I just I just wanted transistors. I'm just old school and I want transistors and um, I'm giving myself transistors. Transistor distortion, transistor octave and transistor clean boost.
All right, so I've got my pedal all boxed up now. I managed to get the clean boost in there, um, but I've done this with a switch because if you'd have three three pole double throw stomp switches on here, you just you wouldn't be you'd, you wouldn't be able to flick them on and off. Your your foot would hit both of them or something like that. So I, with me, I've made this pedal just for myself, so I've made it for my own requirements. I think um, the boost switch, so turning the the boost on or off is fine because for me most of the time it'll be on while i'm trying to record a song or something like that so i decided we'll have it on or off um i've got a this is the fuzz stomp switch and this is the octave stomp switch so above the stomp for the fuzz stomp we've got a fuzz control so this is how much fuzz you want like just like a gain control and then above the octave we've got an octave blend so how much octave you want on there um, like I said, the art's the boost switch, and then this is tone control in the middle. Um, and I've, I've just, um, you know, the way I've designed this, I've just made it everything look quite ni nice and neat in this kind of triangular formation. I've not put a design on the front yet. Um, I've, I'm just having a bit of trouble with um, kind of getting access to places to um, get my artwork onto stuff. Um, I want to have a go at etching at some point. So I'm just like, going to leave it clean for now. At the end of the day, I just want to do, I want to use this pedal just to write some songs so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, yeah, I've got three red LEDs on there as well. I've got these nice knobs. These are like my favorite knobs. So basically I've just used like my favorite of everything. Like, I didn't want to have blue LEDs, they just dazzle my eyes too much. They're too bright, I can't get them the brightness to come down, so I've used red ones. I've used 3mm ones as well, because the 5mm are just they're just too big. They, you don't need massive LEDs on, on the front of your box. So I'm happy with that. And I love the the, uh, the switch for boost. So that's your clean MOSFET boost. I've got a total of 8 transistors inside this thing as well now. So I've got 4 transistors for the fuzz. I've got three transistors for uh, the octave, and I've got one transistor which is a MOSFET boost um, BS170 for the boost, the clean boost. Um, that is on a separate circuit board inside her, um, but hey ho, that's okay. You don't see that. So um, yeah, it's all looking grand, and I'll do it a test now. Um, I'll hook it up through the mics, so we've got a bit of a mic and a room sound so you can hear it a bit more clearly than you did before and i'll put it through my marshall G jcm 800 and my orange terabase and i'll use my baritone again so uh here we go okay i've just set this up a bit differently i'm just going straight through my micro dark with two sm 57s i've got one close up to the speaker and one just room mic and um, this is my clean channel <laughs> this is the boost switch Turn on the fuzz.
Okay, so there we have it. That's my DIY pedal all to my own spec, how I want it. My dream pedal, if you will, um, or just one of them. <laughs> there are many. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.